What's going on guys, Team Mark here and today we are going to be talking about some score streak balancing updates that have happened in Black Ops 3 since we've last played the beta. They've changed the uh, the order around a little bit, the values it takes to earn certain score streaks and uh, I wanted to talk about it with you guys. So uh, how we know this, because obviously nobody's playing the game right now, is from this gameplay here. It's from the last Black Ops 3 Friday's live stream last week and uh, it was meant to show off the Firebreak Specialist as well as new Redwood map but uh, down the bottom right you guys can see he's earning some some score streaks and stuff and if you pay attention to that you can find some screenshots that show the changes that have been made so uh, some of the changes are that the hellstorm has been raised from a 700 score streak to an 800 score streak which you guys can see right here also the talon has been raised from a 975 score streak to a 1050 score streak you'd have to do a little bit of math to figure this out but right now in this screenshot he's 50 score into earning the talon and he still needs 200 to earn it so he got the Hellstorm at 800 plus that 200 plus the 50 is 1050. So that's been raised as well. And then finally, the Cerberus here has been lowered from in the beta. It was at 1000 score to earn and now it's at 900 score to earn, which you guys can see. So uh, in the grand scheme of things, what this is doing is this is the original kind of like score streak order that we had in the beta. And uh, this is the new order with these changes taken into effect. So basically what they've done is they flip-flopped the Hellstorm and the Lightning Strike, and then they also flip-flopped the Cerberus and the Talon. And overall, I agree with these changes. I honestly, I feel like the Hellstorm is more powerful than the Lightning Strike. I feel like you should get the Lightning Strike first. And I also like that the Talon is now after the Cerberus, because the Cerberus is decent, but it's a ground-based robot that rolls around and shoots rockets and, and, you know, kind of like bullets and stuff like that. The Talon, you can fly around, cover more ground more quickly. And honestly, the Talon was one of my favorite score streaks in the beta. Like, it absolutely wrecked people. So, uh, I think that that's a, a slightly better order that we have going on with now. One thing that I am a little bit concerned about is that I still think that the Lightning Strike and the Hellstorm are too close to each other. So the Hellstorm is now 800 score to be able to earn it. The Lightning Strike is 750 score to be able to earn it. I feel that Lightning Strike needs to be reduced. Like, I don't think the Lightning Strike is nearly as good as the Hellstorm. Like, whenever I would get a Hellstorm in the beta, I was like, you know what, I'm almost guaranteed at least two kills. But oftentimes, it was four or five pieces. Like, those things were absolutely dominating. And the Lightning Strikes... Although it's pretty good because you can choose three different areas on the map to bomb, the area of effect of the damage is just not nearly as big. So I think if there's only a 50 point difference in between those two score streaks, I feel like most people are going to go for that Hellstorm. There's really not going to be a need for a lightning strike since they're kind of the same idea, like a, a air to ground missile attack. So uh, yeah, there you guys have it. They've changed up the score streaks a little bit. I'm sure that's not the only changes that they've made, but I just, I noticed that from this game plan. I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. That's kind of different. Uh, switching around the score streaks already is pretty crazy of them to do, but overall, I do think it was the right move. I'm just, I'm excited that score streaks are actually going to be worth using again. Like, I, I liked using score streaks in the beta, and uh, it's just like, it's a weird feeling because I haven't really used score streaks at all in Advanced Warfare, and they really weren't that powerful in Ghosts either. So it's been a couple of years since we had a game with good score streaks in it. So uh, I'm pretty excited. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if you guys think there are any other changes to the score streaks that need to be made. Are there anything that's, you know, too easy to get or too hard to get? Leave comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. A bunch of great Black Ops 3 videos coming soon. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two videos. Good news. See you yet. Peace out, guys.